Welcome back to Ribbon Candy Hooking. I'm Deanna. I am spending a little time this morning with something special for Magpie Times. You know, when we started working on the first issue of Magpie Times, Judy Taylor and I, I was looking at people who had written previously for my inspiration magazine, the Wall Street Journal. Do you remember that? And Judy Cripps was one of those people. And I just really loved her style, her friendliness, her openness, the sort of primitive um, designing, uh, her her dyeing, all of her beautiful colors. So she submitted this, um, an article with this pattern. I don't know if you can see it. It's on, I traced it and then I put it on my fiber tape for a transfer medium. And um, I just could not resist. I have no time at all in my life right now, but I could not resist doing this one pattern because for me, this is like a bridge that connects me to the Wall Street Journal and to Judy Cripps. And I'll just show you, I'm working on this right here on my lap, cute little bird. There's something else cute happening right there. You see this, I mean, this is what, I, I don't have a permit for this. I'm probably gonna be arrested for this criminal cuteness that's happening right there. But right here, I'm working with one of our new resin hooks. They'll be in the store soon on this really sweet pattern. We've got over a dozen patterns uh, in this first issue of Magpie Times. And I will let you know as soon as possible. Judy and I had a meeting yesterday. Um, we're talking about page count. We're talking about size. We're talking about paperweights. We're talking about printing the first issues. And it will be available digitally, the Magpie Times, for all fiber artists, not just rug hookers. And, um, and it will also be available as a hard copy if you want it sent to you in the mail, uh, which I know I do. Anything sort of old-timey like that, I look forward to so much coming in the mail. But this is one of over a dozen patterns that will be associated with this first issue, the Historic Gardens issue. And a huge shout out and thank you to Judy for uh, sending this in. I really, it feels so nostalgic and special for me to be hooking something of Judy Cripps, of Judy Cripps's because, um, again, it just reminds me of those old Wall Street Journal days. I wasn't a hooker at that point and I missed all that goodness and, um, and it is a lot of fun to sit with a pretty pattern like this. Although she did her article in a lot of hand dyed greens that she did. And I'm really just going for handfuls of colors that were left over from the Secret Garden and some of the other pieces that I hooked for this issue of Magpie. So I'm fooling around with leftover noodles and having a lot of fun. I will see you soon with this and more patterns and the upcoming very soon to be released uh, issue of Magpie Times, first one. I will see you soon.